motorcycles are special, which means they don't deserve to be treated like the car outside that you only use for transport. They deserve more than one oil change per ownership or to roll around on flat tires everywhere you go. And unless you've got the money for a brand new Austrian machine that comes with a service plan, it's not worth having to pay someone to do something as simple as an oil change or even worse, every time your chain needs adjusting. So that means you will need a few tools to complete common jobs. But what tools do you need if you're planning on entering the motorcycling world? And what jobs should you plan for? Well, fortunately, motorcycles are fairly straightforward when it comes to tools. With most motorcycles, especially Japanese bikes, you don't need any specialized tools to get the simple jobs done. There are also plenty of amazing tools that you might dream of and insist you'll need from day one. I mean, how can you live without a compressor to dry bolt holes, pump tires, and use in every application possible because they're just so much fun to use? You also probably have a friend who claims you should never do any bolt up without a torque wrench. But let's try to keep this budget friendly, at least at first, before you're sure you want motorcycles to be in your life forever. So forget the compressor for now and all the other tools that would be nice to have but aren't absolutely necessary to get the job done when starting out. First, we'll start with a toolbox because tools can get disorganized, lost and messy very quickly. I recommend something bright so your custom stickers stand out on it. At first, you won't need anything too big but after years of collecting tools, it's easier to just get a garage rather than a toolbox. Once you've fought off the stock decals and placed your own decals strategically, the first tools to go into your toolbox should be the two sets you'll use most often. A set of Allen keys or hex keys are going to be your best friend. Unless you already have a best friend named Alan, in which case he can stay. These are literally the keys to every other job, from removing fairings, getting to the battery under the seat, lifting up the tank to clean the air filter, and you get the point. And when an Allen key doesn't get one of these jobs done, you'll turn to the second set of tools in your toolbox, a set of spanners. The wider the range of sizes, the better. You'll use everything from something as small as an 8mm to bleed brakes to somewhere in the middle to adjust your chain tension. But the bigger the nut or bolt gets, and depending on the position, you're probably going to want to switch to sockets. As handy as a set of spanners are, they can get pretty frustrating. So by making sure there is a socket wrench set in your toolbox, you'll have all your options of weirdly placed bolts covered. A socket will fit more snugly, and a wrench will usually give you the extra leverage you may need to crack a bolt. But the best trick is the ratchet mechanism, meaning you don't have to keep repositioning the spanner on every turn. The socket can stay seated as the ratchet does the hard work. These are useless when bleeding brakes, for example, but brilliant for wheel axles when changing tires. And when the time to expand your tool collection comes, you can get a few Allen key sockets to make life that much easier. The simplest tool ever created will also be needed in your box of tricks. It will be used considerably less than the previously mentioned tools, but it's still pretty important. And no, it's not a hammer, despite the fact that between a hammer and cable ties, everything can be mended. It's a screwdriver set. You might not find many screws on a motorcycle, but you'll find plenty of uses for screwdrivers. On the rare occasion where they'll actually be used for their original purpose, may only be for suspension adjustments, but they're also great at substituting other tools you don't own. Like stabbing a screwdriver through an oil filter to remove it, 
or prying a part brake pads to get the caliper over the disc. But when the magnetized tip of a screwdriver isn't doing the trick of picking up a bolt lost in a tight place, you'll have to turn to the needle-nosed pliers. The pliers that can do it all in one. From needle nose jobs like removing brake pads, pulling a cable tie tight, to cutting off the end of cable ties. You might think you could live without them, but you'll be glad you have them. Some smaller bits that are worth buying are a tire pressure gauge and a funnel. You can get away with always pumping up your tires at a fuel station, but checking their pressure to see whether they need attention isn't worth the trip and is easier to just do at home. A funnel to put oil in your bike during an oil change is also pretty handy and might only be on my list because I'm bad at aiming. But if you're bad at aiming too, then I suggest a funnel because there's nothing worse than the terrible smell and a bit of smoke when the bike heats up after pouring oil down your bike. There might be more or less tools depending on your style of bike, like Torx bits for example if you own an exotic machine. But I would say these are all the tools you would need to get going and do the simple jobs a bike will always need. Once you have the basics, it's easy enough to add to your collection as you need more tools. And there are always tools you won't know how much you'll use until you have them, like my heat gun that I use far too often. But anyway, that's pretty much it. If there are any tools you think I missed that are an absolute necessity when starting, please add them down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next ride.